good this guy is. I love it. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. Oh, like yeah, what part of before. Germany? Uh, Cologne. You, I just was in Cologne not too long ago. You were in Cologne? Yeah, I'm, and I'm a big Gerhard Richter fan. Yes. <laughs> okay. I went to the museums there. I love, I love Cologne. Okay, is it on the camera? <laughs> Ah, yeah. amazing, amazing that you love Cologne because love Cologne. Uh, it's such a beautiful city. I, I yeah, remember some specific city. things. The yeah, food. yeah, that the cathedral, you know, that beautiful cathedral um, and the museums and uh, went to some great restaurants and got great coffee and walked around. I was just walking around Cologne was so beautiful. I love that city. Do you live in Cologne now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's amazing. There was it's a amazing. great Gerhard Richter. Uh, uh, how do you pronounce Gerhard Richter? Pardon? How do you pronounce Gerhard Richter? There you go. Gerhard that, Richter. Sounds, that sounds better than how I say yeah. it. Gerhard um, Richter, you can try it. Richter. <laughs> and uh, let me make a big compliment because uh, in this movie you are so amazing because you don't have many lines, but you don't need it because you do it all over your face expression. So you look at Benny's face and you know exactly what he means. And I would say this should be another Oscar nomination. Take that. So, how did you how did you um, uh, um, uh, create that atmosphere? What did you do to make it so perfect? Oh wow! Thank you for saying that. Um, I, I think, yeah, it was, it was getting very clear about what he is actually feeling in those moments where he's not saying anything. I, I had fewer clues through the dialogue of, of you know, what his thought process was. So uh, that allowed me for more, I guess, creative latitude to sort of figure out what his family life was like, and you know, his his history and what what his beliefs are and opinions and everything and then sort of fill those in so that way in those moments where I'm not saying anything that those are still happening. Mm. And Cassie is I think also a kind of strong woman I would say, a strong woman. So what has um, um, yeah, has attracted you to take this part? Um, I think uh, exactly that. You know I think when the script got sent through and it was Jeff Nichols writing, directing and then to you know, be made aware of um, Danny Lyon and his work and understand that the script was based on real people and, and that we had that as a source material was super exciting. And I listened to like 30 minutes of audio of Kathy and just immediately fell in love with her. She was um, very vivacious and honest and uh, like a woman I'd never met before. I felt very far from myself. So that immediately, you know, kind of made me want to jump in. Mm. And then now at a picture of this scale, anything can happen behind the scenes. Did you have maybe some nice behind the scenes memories, some crazy things, some weird things? Oh, that's a mm. good question. Crazy things, weird things? I don't know if there was any craziness on this set. It was a very, very tame, tame set. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've spoken a lot about our lovely memory of getting to watch Michael Shannon yeah, act. Yeah, yeah, that was very you know, special. There was a lot of moments on this set, I felt like just watching like the caliber of actors yeah. do their thing where you're like, oh, wow, okay, yeah. this is very cool. I think those, the days where you had a ton of actors in one mm. scene, the amount of talent that, yeah. that you, you were around, well, that was really special. Mm. And uh, and so I think in those moments, you know, even between takes mm. and stuff, looking over and seeing Jody and then mm. Michael Shannon and Tom Hardy and Mike mm. Feist and Norman Reedus and just down yeah. the line, everybody that we were surrounded by was... Some of us also so went on a amazing. bourbon tour, which was kind of I, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that must have been the same. I didn't do this. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, Bourbon's a big remember? thing over there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And especially with the bikes, because there are some big, heavy machines. Yeah, yeah. I only crashed once. What yeah. happened? And he landed on I his landed feet, on everybody. My feet, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was just, it was late one night, and it had been raining earlier in the day, and some things happened, and I ended up. Uh, yeah, crashing the bike, but I, uh, I landed on my feet, so we're okay. So no injuries, no, no scars, injuries. no bruises. The the bike had some injuries, but I was okay, thankfully. Okay, and what was just what you would say? What was the most emotional part for you shooting that movie? Did you have maybe one scene, one moment? Hmm. Mm. I mean, I think a, a moment that I immediately think of is the moment where Kathy approaches Benny in the bedroom and asks mm. him to leave mm. the vandals. So um, I think that's a really tricky moment for the both of them. Like she catches him <laughs> in yeah. a very uh, tricky moment. And I feel like it was a moment that, um, I don't know, the scene starts in one place and ends somewhere very different. So I feel like those types of scenes, you know, there's kind of going to be a little bit of a build up or a journey 
Um, so I feel like that was quite a big moment mm -hmm. for the both of them. Yeah, I, mm. I agree. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for the Thank great you interview. So, so much.